Hello everybody and welcome back once again and of course for any of you who are new here thank you for showing up you guys are all a bunch of champions. Now everybody today's video is going to be very particular because we have a new coming of age film coming out this weekend called Love Simon. I'm particularly excited about it because I feel like it's going to be a film that just celebrates life in all of its beauty. So I thought I'd take the time today to talk about not only one of my favorite coming of age films, but also one that I think is certainly applicable in today's society, especially with all the tension that we've got going on. And that is Perks of Being a Wallflower, directed by Stephen Chabowski, which Funny enough, it's the same man who wrote the book, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And if you ask me, this film is a pretty great adaptation. And like I said before, it is a world worth of information and a lot to say. So for any of you who don't know, The Perks of Being a Wallflower is about a kid named Charlie who's played brilliantly by Logan Lerman who meets up with a couple of other kids who are considered outsiders, though ki those kids' names are Sam and Patrick, and they're played by Ezra Miller and Emma Watson, and it's pretty much all about the high school experience and some of the trauma that may come aside with being a person growing up with high school about a certain person's past. But the traumatic experience isn't what I take away from this movie. What I take away from the perks of being a wallflower every time I watch it is the fact that this is a film that not only gives you a really, really good coming of age story, not only gives you a great character study, but it's also a beautiful piece brilliantly directed and brilliantly written by Stephen Chabowski about accepting people for who they are, accepting people for their differences, no matter who they are. Now, it's at this point that I want to give a mini spoiler warning, because for any of you who haven't read the book Perks of Being a Wallflower or haven't seen the movie, I, I don't want to spoil anything for you, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to just turn away. Alright, and for everybody else that's still here, the fact is, Ezra Miller character's Patrick, he's a closeted gay kid at school, and Emma Watson Sam, she has been sexually ambiguous since she was very, very young, not to her own choice, of course, because she's had a lot of really nasty experiences with some of her father's friends, with some of the past relationships she's been in, and this character of Charlie, He's kind of the person I would be in this situation because he comes into this situation not knowing anything about these two and the fact that, you know, Sam has been sexually ambiguous or Patrick is closeted and gay or the party scene that any amount of these high school kids are in, Charlie doesn't care. The only thing that he really cares about is that they're good people. They don't mean any harm. They're not trying to insult anybody. They're not trying to hurt anybody. They just want to be good, honest kids growing up in high school, trying to have fun, trying to make trying to make the most out of the experience that they do have. And Charlie fully brings that on, and he accepts them for who they are. Now, in today's climate, I don't generally like to get political in these analysis or in these videos, but let's face it, with the racism and over-objectification of women or the inequality that we've seen for the past 20 years, even up to this past couple of years, especially last year. This is a film that we can all apply into our lives, and it's certainly one that we should all be taking a look at, because at the end of the day, I don't really think it's a person's sexual orientation, the color of their skin, their religion, what they think about life. I don't care about any of that. I care that they're a good person. I care that they're trying to make the best of themselves. I care that they want to be helpful. They want to bring some benefit to society. And I think that Perks of Being a Wallflower is a film that really encompasses that mindset. If you're ever somebody who, if you're somebody at school, if you're gay but you're too afraid to tell it, if you're somebody who has had a really traumatic past, or if you're somebody who wants to accept other people for who they are, or if you just like good entertaining heartfelt movies, The Perks of Being a Wallflower is definitely for you. 
It's a great movie, not only because of what it says about our society as a whole, but what it can say about the individual person and how it can prick that person's heart and make them listen up and actually understand and hear the voices and the lessons that this film is trying to teach. And that's why I love this film so much. I mean, I can't really say there's anything too deep to go into analyzing it like I did with Blade Runner 2049. But I love the perks of being a wallflower. As much as I love Edge of Seventeen or Lady Bird, the perks of being a wallflower is something truly, truly special. Because unlike really any other coming of age film I've seen, except for maybe The Breakfast Club, this film is a film about accepting other people for their differences and celebrating those differences. It doesn't matter who you are. Be a good person. Be who you are. Go forth. Give it 110%. Be the best version of yourself you can be and provide some benefit for the world and make the world a much better place. And guys, that's really all I have to say in today's video. But you need to know that this film really does have a special place in my heart. And if you haven't checked it out, I implore you to do so. This is one of those films that I think everybody needs to check out at least once. Especially if you're somebody who who hasn't really had a format or found a way to where you want to get your message out there you want to talk to people you want to find the people who are obscure i mean for one thing i'm a theater kid always have been and the reason why i'm so accepting of these kinds of people and the reason why i am the person i am today i think is mostly because of my theater background because if you guys don't know theater it's really uh, something that invites everybody from all walks of life to be the person that they can be, the best person that they can be. So that's all I really have to say. Thank you guys so much once again for showing up. I love each and every single one of you, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this. I can't wait for us to start a conversation. Guys... Like I said before, you all are amazing. I love each and every one of you for the differences that you bring and the conversations that you bring. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more and hear more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.